Begin with the opening statement. Puedes empezar. No. Primero, muy, muy enojado. Muy enojado por el resultado, muy enojado por, por siempre los mismos, los mismos arbitrajes que nos tocan, siempre, siempre no, nos pitan, nos, nos cobran en contra nuestra, parece. I'm angry. I'm angry at the result. Uh, I'm angry at the way the game was officiated. Uh, it's the same stuff every time, the way the game is officiated, and it feels like it's against us. Creo que siempre, parece ser que siempre es contra nosotros, o siempre nos cobran un penal, o, o en, este, en el día de hoy nos echaron a dos. Creo que lo de Alan no fue roja, eh, pero siempre, siempre es en contra nosotros. Creo que lo mío fue, fue un enojo, un enojo de todo el tiempo. ¿Salad? Oh. Todo, es un enojo de que siempre me pegan, todo el tiempo me pegan y... y Creo que reaccioné, pero solamente intenté chocar pecho con pecho, solamente que él es más alto que yo. Y creo que lo interpretó de mal. It feels, it feels like it's against us. I did not think that Allen's was a red for me. It was chest to chest. I'm just not as big as Aaron Long. Um, but it was, it was a product of frustration of, of being hit over and over again in the game. And, and it boiled over in that moment. Eso es lo que tengo para decir. La verdad que... Eh, muy triste por haber dejado el equipo con uno menos, pero acepto mi, mi responsabilidad y estoy aquí dando la cara. That's all I had to say. Uh, it's obviously very unfortunate that you know I have to be out of the team for a game because of this, but that's what I wanted to see, and I had to say this. Questions? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Lucho, do you feel like New York came here with the idea to make the game more physical, and do you feel like FC Cincinnati? was just responding to that physicality. Parece que Nueva York empieza el partido con esa mentalidad de, de ser físico o el partido fue resultado de responder de esa manera física. Ellos no querían jugar, ellos jugaban a la pelota larga, ellos nos pegaron todo el tiempo y, y creo que que nosotros intentamos jugar, pero ellos tampoco nos dejaron, siempre nos, nos cortaban la jugada, nos pegaban. Creo que ellos no quisieron, no vinieron a jugar como, como normalmente hace. That's, they play how they play. You know, we came in with the way that we wanted to play. Um, and, and that was the way that they wanted to play today. Usually it's, it's long ball, it's pressing, and, and today it was, the, it was physical. Any reason you see for why you feel like the, the officials are against you guys? I mean, the last home game, Coach Noonan had some comments afterward as well. Why do you think that is? No lo sé. Vengo a preguntar eso. Vengo a dar la cara para preguntar cuál es, cuál es, por qué siempre con nosotros. Eh, vengo acá a poner la cara. Seguramente me pongan multa. Seguramente me den un extra game. Pero vengo a preguntar eso. ¿Por qué siempre con nosotros? Eh, no lo entiendo. Eh, creo que en el penal. Creo que el número 9, si no, no lo recuerdo bien, le, le da un codazo en la cara a Tyler. Y no, el árbitro no ve esas cosas, solo ve las cosas que se en contra de nosotros. I don't know why it, why it happens that way. Um, that's why I wanted to come out here and show my face and say something about this. Um, but, for example, on the penalty, it, it looked like the number 9 gave an elbow to Tyler, and then the referee sees what happens before, and then it's a penalty. Y quizás, quizás me den una multa. And, you know, they may give me monetary fines they may give me an extra game but pero, I pero acá estoy dando la cara por mi equipo como como lo he lo he hecho siempre dentro de la cancha pero hoy hoy me toca estar acá y y, y defender mi mi club mi equipo but I had to come out here to defend my team to defend my club and, and say something and show my face to say something about this Lucho would you say that your teammates I Pat can speak for the coaching staff but would you say that what you're telling us is how your teammates also feel about the officiating? It's lo, lo que estás diciendo también es las, los sentimientos de sus compañeros. Creo que como capitán eh, soy la voz del, del grupo. Creo que todos pensamos lo mismo. Lo he hablado con algunos jugadores y, y piensan lo mismo que yo. Quizás muchos no, no se animan a, a salir a hablar por el tema de que sean multados con dinero o multados con extra game. Pero como soy el capitán y, y, y defiendo a mi, a mi equipo y a mi club, así como lo hago dentro del campo, lo hago acá afuera. 
as captain, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm the voice of the group. I've talked to players in the locker room. They feel the same way. Um, maybe some wouldn't come out and, and say it, don't want to get fined, don't want to get an extra game. But as captain, I'm going to defend my club. I'm going to defend my team. And I'm going to come out here and say something about it. We'll do one more and then we'll show you. Uh, you guys are unbeaten in five games. The last five games, you're unbeaten. Um, is there any satisfaction in keeping that going, even though you said you're not happy with the result? Eh, creo que los, los partidos que venimos jugando, jugamos contra grandes equipos, creo que son los que están en el, en el, arriba de nosotros, en el top. Eh, creo que lo hemos hecho muy bien. Obviamente uno siempre quiere ganar. Uno creo que merecíamos ganar los partidos anteriores, pero bueno, eh, seguimos por el camino que, que no nos damos por vencido y, y, y seguimos luchando como un grupo. Obviously, the last couple of games we've been playing against some of the best teams in the league, the above us in the table. Um, thought that we had some chances to win these games and we could have been, could have won, but we will not be defeated and, and we're going to keep on this path that we're, that we're going. Um, but we won't, you know. Pero bueno, con estas situaciones es difícil seguir luchando, pero seguimos, seguimos, seguimos luchando como somos un gran equipo y, y, y no importa qué pase, vamos a seguir por el mismo camino. It's obviously difficult when circumstances arise like this, but we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep fighting as one team, and, and we're out there fighting together as one team. Thank you, Lucho. Thank you, guys. All right, Pat, we'll begin uh, with your thoughts on tonight's match and the result. Uh, good point. Terrible soccer game. We'll get into questions. So. Lucho just came in here and addressed uh, I th officiating in general that FC Cincinnati has faced. Um, I guess two parts to that. Did you sign off on him coming in to talk to us? Because I would think just speaking after a red card situation like that, as he did, he would be risking additional punishment. So did you and him talk about that? Or? No, he doesn't need to sign off. He can come up here. He's, he's a grown, uh, grown man. He can talk and, and, and hopefully message what he feels in the right way. So there was no conversation uh, prior. And I can, I can hear you. Did you have problems with the officiating tonight? Setting me up. Does that answer it? There were things that we didn't um, particularly handle well. There were a lot of I thought little little things that didn't go our way, um, where it didn't feel like it was it was uh, very balanced. And do you feel like it seemed like New York came in with intent to play physically? It seemed like you guys were responding to that. Um, yeah. Did you have a problem with the way? New York wanted to play tonight, and did you feel like your guys were just playing within kind of that construct? I think the the physicality wasn't an issue at all. I thought our guys did an excellent job of dealing with the direct play and um, winning the aerial duels, for the most part being solid with knockdowns, but I feel bad for everybody who has to watch that. That's, that's, it's so bad. And so for the fans, you know, those at home having to, to sit through that, um, it's unfortunate. That wasn't a soccer game tonight. Kind of, kind of going off the New York City FC game, why do you feel like this is, why does this keep befalling FC Cincinnati? <laughs> Say that again. Why does this keep befalling FC Cincinnati? I don't have a good answer for it right now. Um, I don't think it's just us. I watch games. We're not alone, you know. It's it's um, it's something that we're we're hoping improves, you know. Just like we want to improve the quality of the play on the field, you know. If our league's going to continue to grow, we have to grow in in all areas. What do you think you learned tonight, having to watch the guys deviate from the original plan coming in here and kind of getting thrown into a little bit more of an aggressive attack? I don't necessarily think we had to deviate from, from the plan. We knew it was going to be a, a, a game of, of duels and, and knockdowns and, um, and pressure. But I thought our first you know, 20 minutes was some really good ways of, of playing forward. We found Lucho in some good spots to, 
to get him turning and, and getting um, Brandon and Brenner running that goal. Um, you know, we lost a little bit of rhythm once we conceded the, the goal, but the guys understood what they were going to see. It's just a matter of how you deal with it and can you find ways to um, to play and, and to balance, you know, the, the direct play with getting the ball on the ground and maybe make them chase a little bit more where, you know, we could have done better with that, but the players knew what they were going to see. How did you feel like the guys responded to going down a man? How did, how did you see just the reaction? Excellent. You know, we didn't, we, we didn't give up dangerous looks. You know, again, I don't, they didn't change what they were doing. They were looking for balls in behind and we, um, we dealt with that uh, pretty well. Um, you know, you're not going to win every knockdown. You're not going to have every clearance be perfect. So th those are the moments where you just have to make sure defensively um, you're ready to deal with the runs in behind, the balls in behind, and when it gets wide, you know, service in the box. And I thought Roman, our back line, and, and just the way all of those guys competed tonight was excellent. Is there any satisfaction you take from getting a point, keeping the unbeaten streak going, or is it too wild of a game to kind of take anything from it? It's a game where we felt, you know, this is this is a game where we can walk off the field with three points with, you know, not just the, the results, but the guys have, have done some good things. I think they're in a pretty good rhythm of how they're playing, how we're creating. We were better defensively tonight, and, and that was a, an improvement uh, from the last couple games. But, you know, I guess if you're looking at 25 minutes into the game, you know, we're in, in control. And, and so at that point, I think three points is all you're thinking about because of the, the way the game was played. So, you know when you don't have 11 players on the field to, to end the game, it becomes difficult. So it's a good point. Hi coach, this is Noticia Cincinnati. Uh, ¿Usted cree que hay algún favoritismo eh, de los árbitros a los otros equipos porque el Cincinnati está jugando bien esta temporada y lo quieren perjudicar para dejarlo en los puestos anteriores? Uh, do you feel like, as Lucho said, that there is some sort of bias with the officiating you know, against Cincinnati based on maybe the way the team is playing this year or anything like that? Again, I'm, I don't think it's a bias. I think it's happening across the league. We watch Portland, Seattle before our game, and Ladero gets taken down. And it's so obvious when you're watching it and from the replays, and then it doesn't even get reviewed. And you sit there and you wonder, how is this possible? So despite having VAR, there's still human error involved in, in what's going on. And you look at a play like that, again, Seattle should feel hard done by that not being a PK. And that's, you know, a, a certainly a pretty important game for the fans. And to not have a, a call that's pretty obvious go your way, you know, it changes kind of the, the, the momentum of the game and potentially the outcome. So we're not alone. In, in the calls, um, not going your way. So you have to figure out ways to, to deal with it and manage it. And, and what I liked about tonight was maybe calls didn't go our way, but the effort, the ways these guys fought, Alvaro, I mean, just battled. You know, Lucho, Brenner, these guys are down a man. They're, they're bad on our back line. You know, Obi and, and um, Allen and Yuya in the middle, these guys competed. And so um, I'm really pleased with the, the way they managed a difficult situation to still get a point. Uh, to go into something a little different, uh, you guys announced Sergio Santos. He was in introduced today. Just what are your thoughts on what he can bring to your team? Yeah, Sergio is a good addition to our group. Um, gives us another. Um, talented piece, you know, certainly in the attack. Um, somebody, you know, defensively that I think can help us as far as how we can get pressure to the ball. But um, he's a good character. You can see him even in the, the locker room the first day. He's going to fit in pretty quickly and pretty nicely. And so um, we're pleased to have Sergio with the group and, and um, get him acclimated and, and get him um, get him out there as, as quick as possible because I think he'll be a nice little uh, piece for us. Um, you know, moving forward. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you.